So we are back home. <sighs> Thank God, it feels so good to be back home. And we are here with the new addition. It's different, like we're feeling new baby again. New baby is so light. I pick up new baby, then I pick up Nala. And I'm like, Nala, you've grown so much. We've only been away from Nala for like two days, but it seems like she's mm. such a, a bigger girl now. I know. <laughs> So we have a little bit of footage of Nala meeting Noelle for the first time. And Nala's just real quiet. She's always like that though, when new people are around, real quiet and reserved. She touched her a little bit, but you know, that was pretty much it. She didn't really give a, a huge reaction. But one of the things we notice is that when we're feeding Noelle, Nala tries to take her bottle. Even though Nala has her own bottle. This is Noelle. Look yeah, at her. she has her eyes open. Look at that. A little wide open, too. <laughs> She's already looking a little different from first days, but she definitely doesn't understand yet. No, she doesn't understand it. She I think it's going to understand who. I think it's going to take is. I think it's going to take at least 5 days of her consistently seeing Noel here to know that oh, she ain't going nowhere. I don't think she understands yet that she's not a toy. Well, she does. Yeah, I think once Noel starts making noise and crying then she'll know that yeah. it's a baby. Cause most of the time she's, when she interacts with Noelle, Noelle is either sleeping or not moving. So she don't know yet that it's a baby. Mm -hmm. Let me get y'all get some view. It's a baby. Sorry, my lips and this is a newborn outfit that we have on her. Mm -hmm. And it's a little, yeah. little big. Yeah, a lot of the <laughs> newborn outfits doesn't fit. And this was the smallest one I could find. So, and this is still big. Oh, not. And we noticed that one thing about Noelle is she has some, hold on, my bad, y'all. She has some incredible head strength, or neck strength. Mm -hmm. She'll move her head around, and we'll be like, wait, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Look at her, see? <laughs> She's like, I'm hungry. <laughs> or whatever, trying to look for nipple. I almost felt bad last night that I ain't want to breastfeed, but when I thought about if I was breastfeeding, I had to get up and get the pump and all that stuff, and I was like, nah, I don't think I feel too bad. Yeah, so it was... But, yeah, coming home definitely felt good. But it's hard for me to not, like, try to jump into what I got to do mode when I know I'm supposed to be resting. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really do any resting. Plus, our stroller came in, and I wanted to make sure everything was right. Well, so we'll do another video to uh, show you guys the stroller. We, we're, we're pretty uh satisfied with it. Yeah, yeah, we'll show you a glimpse probably when we leave today because we got to go bye-bye, baby, because we realized we didn't have an adapter that we thought was coming with it. There's so many pieces to this dance show. <laughs> yeah. Was... We set up the doctor appointment. That's going to be tomorrow. And we were able to get them both at the same time. So Nala's one year and Noelle's first appointment. Yeah. So going back to last night. Last night, she she wasn't getting comfortable. For whatever reason, I didn't understand because I put her in the snow with me again. She's like, are you going to feed me or not? Yeah, she woke up a few times. Let me grab a bottle. Okay. Uh, she woke up a few times. She wasn't getting comfortable and I was confused because she, I had her in the snuggle me yesterday and she was sleeping for hours. And then I put the snuggle me in the bed with me and I kind of leaned it up a little bit and she was sleeping. I'm still kind of didn't find my flow yet with how I got the setup and everything so i think that's gonna take like a few days to find out what works the most convenient but yeah like david said she already got a lot of head strength she's oh she's a a lot more alert than nala was at this point also too she moves a lot she um she she cries nala didn't cry either until she was like about the same time three months she's also starting to eat a lot more she was originally around 20 to 25 or whatever in mils and now she for the first time last night got up to 44 ounces and yeah, we got some regular poop this morning you got regular, it was all yellow not well halfway regular poop oh yeah. so it was a lot yellow, yellow it was a lot yeah and then today she had around 25 or whatever 
but she definitely likes the gentle ease better than the Similac. But I know there's different types of Similac, so we'll see how that goes. Hey guys, so this is actually going to be the first time me getting the diaper bag pack. But first, if I show you that, I kind of want to show you what my postpartum belly is suddenly looking like. And I already feel somewhat mostly back i am still swollen i am still sore down here but this is the smallest i've been in a long time still have definitely the pregnancy breather thing still going on but definitely feeling more and more like myself um but i have the itsy ritzy diaper bag right here so I'm trying to unpack it and pack it because now I have two babies that needs it and we need the diaper bag. So I am getting everything out and seeing what's in here. And it's just so crazy that I have to be more intentional with what's in here. So, so far, say hi baby. <laughs> she was make a little noise so yeah so i need to find an outfit for her to wear or put on a little headband something just make her going out ready since this is our first going out trip i just only grabbed three newborn onesies i love this color i know this would be so cute on her but i'm not gonna change her i do need to find more outfits for nala but what i think i'm gonna do is make this sleeve Nala's at the top and Noel's at the bottom but I think what's best is to angle the camera down to the bag because y'all could just listen to my voice so we got a couple of these we got this last pack of size threes the size fours that she wears right now Nala um is still big on her so this will still be fine this is the last bit I'm thinking we'll take about five uh, this is right here, so I'll go ahead and take this too and stuff this is in the back. Then I will go ahead and put the stack of newborn diapers right here. I got um, just two outfits for Nala. She doesn't really do too many outfit chains, usually just one just in case. But because she's wearing blue hair bows, I wanted to make sure to grab two outfits that had blue in it and her shoes are blue. So, and I already showed y'all kind of the onesies that I'm bringing for Noel. It's not really that important because it's just plain onesies or whatnot. Then, dang, you know what I just thought about? Mm -hmm. This is the phase where you still gotta, you gotta bring the nose Frida and all that stuff. Oh, uh, the medicine stuff? Yeah. Dang, gotta grab medicine, but yeah. I'm just bringing um, about nine ounces, two nine ounces of water because you know, Nala drinks powder formula. And I showed y'all this container when we was doing Disney. <coughs> Don't yell at them. <laughs> Dang. Probably um, one up front and then one in the sleeve. Like that. Oh, one up front, I just said that. All her toys, I got just like random stuff. I usually kind of put it in the front for easy access. So just kind of go and throw that in front. And then I'll go ahead and go. That's one of the toys. Yep. I got these nipples and stuff for the on the go um, formulas um, for Noel. I'm thinking that I'm going to have to put these up here. Just like a couple up here with a couple nipples. And then the rest just down at the bottom. And yeah, let's throw that in there. This is going to be the fullest this ever been. I have to put these rest of ones in there. Oh man, how heavy is this bag going to be? I know. <laughs> My favorite wipes. Nala snacks. We get her some. Just hold it. Let her put her hand in it. All right, last bit because Noel's like, yeah. So nose Frida, um, the spray 
Tylenol in this and I got just the shoulder boat cloth and a regular burp rag. That's really it. We need to get ready to go because it's almost one o'clock and I've been talking to y'all forever so that's our cue. We out. So <laughs> they were like, I ain't expect that. <laughs> Wanted to check back in because we end up leaving Chili's. If you didn't know it's in the background, that's their sound machine. So, so <sighs> I don't like to say stuff like this, but I guess I have to. The money is worth it. As far as what it costs for the upper baby is. Um, but you get convenience. It don't feel like you lugging around so easy to push everything fits in my small car which I'm so surprised in and the kids are comfortable and the kids are very comfortable now let's chillin so I can't wait to see how it is to use it with the upper adapters and having uh, Nala in the big seat or and then Noel in the bassinet I want to see how that goes. Even having um, the bassinet in the restaurant was very convenient too. Yeah, yeah. That was very chill. I didn't have to worry about overheating like I did with Nala when we would go to restaurants. Mm -hmm. And we always have to be like, oh, we got to go because she's going to sweat and, you know, I'm not going to sit here and hold her and stuff like that. But having the bassinet, I wasn't worried about anything. I could just have her in there. I know she's fine and she's chilling and Noel liked the bassinet. She slept for a while. She's been asleep this whole time. She's still asleep. Oh Lord, look at this. There's a ambulance out there. So that's some type of accident. Mm -mm. Anyway, I'm gonna tell you this weird thing. If y'all see these next couple of videos and I'm constantly doing this on my tongue out, it's honestly because I have this weird situation with my tongue since they snatched up my tongue ring during trying to take out my jewelry for an epidural. I end up getting like this extra skin tissue from where my um, ring is so it actually protrudes and hit my teeth every time I talk. Oh uh, look. Oh lord. I know y'all can see that. Better get loose. Uh huh. So that little thing is where my ring was coming out of and it hits my teeth every time. So until I get it cut out, I think I'm gonna make an appointment with Dennis because David said the most likely person to get this off is the dentist. So I need that cut down. So yeah, that's what's going on. But yeah, the stroller is really cool. It's really easy to take apart. We gotta take some parts apart so it can fit in our car, but it's not a big deal. It's not, it's not a noticeable inconvenience. No. I understand now when you have like something that's luxury that's gonna save you time you might not even understand what it is doing until you actually like use it on your day-to-day -day trips and some of the things that I found that was easy I didn't even think of prior so the maneuverability of it and the size of it because a lot of double shoulders are way bigger than this one it doesn't even feel like anything we went in the Sands Club, bought $80 worth of stuff, and only used the stroller. Only used the stroller. That, bas that basket on its own is The basket worth, is huge. It's worth it. <laughs> you can fit a small child in there. But the battery is about to die. We'll see you back at the house, and we'll talk about it a little bit more there. Good morning to you. The birds are chirping. So, good morning. It is another day. Did we record yesterday? Uh, yeah, we did record yesterday when we went out. Okay, we did record yesterday. So it's a new day. And today is Let's Get Stuff Done Day. And that being said, today is both the girls' doctor appointment, um, Noel's first um, appointment, and Nala's first one year. One year appointment. How convenient to have it on the same day. <laughs> yeah, so they're going to be. Uh, getting checked at the same time. So today was a lot smoother Getting out the door mm -hmm. because a lot of stuff was already kind of done and it's so easy to be able to tag team I don't know should be interesting to see when I have to do it by myself, but last night was kind of difficult for me because I started to feel a lot of the pain from having I guess a natural birth at this point 
yeah I fell out of the pain and I started bleeding again and I am extremely engorged and trying to find out ways I was having a good time back there trying to figure out ways how to drive my milk without trying to get mastitis which is very difficult because there's not really a lot of information online outside of don't stimulate your breasts and it'll go away but it doesn't tell you cases of people who got mastitis from it or you know it's just not a lot I heard about the cabbage idea ice packs no stimulation no hot water no none of that so I don't know but I don't even think I'm at my max and I feel like I gained like three cup sizes <laughs> my breast looks so huge they nice <laughs> David's like jeez you <laughs> say is, is that what uh implants are model look after? just like implants they nice <laughs> they like yeah so I also found out that even if by like pressing against them could stimulate the milk to come to, I'm just like, I just can't win. I got so many, so many milk ducts that's just blocked. But they do look great, but they hurt. So it should be interesting in how to get rid of this. I heard people say that it takes less than a week to get rid of of no stimulation and I heard also it take weeks to get rid of so as long as like the engorgement is over even if I'm producing milk I'm, I'm fine but my stomach and body has coming down off the of swollenness a lot though I am interested to see how much I weigh at this point but at the same time I really don't care because regardless I'm still way less than what I did before I got pregnant so um Anyway, like I said, we're on our way to the doctor's appointment. I, I don't think Noel would be getting shots. She got her shots in the hospital. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. So she should be fine. Yeah, hope, hopefully not. I think Nala's getting shots, so. But yeah, we about to get here. We got to unload the car. Uh, we was able to get all the upper bit pieces in my car with the toddler seat, the rumble seat, and the bassinet, and all its accessories. So yeah, I think I'm gonna be using the bassinet today, if everything works out. So we'll see how it goes and what configuration we end up with. Look at our naked girl. Your first appointment. Or one year appointment. One year appointment. Oh yeah, well, it's hard not to say first when you're talking about number one. Number one, and Second naked baby. Her first appointment. Yeah, her first appointment. Same day. Same day. So they're both pee pee, so we gotta change these diapers soon. Oh my god, you almost had her on the same. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Oh god, that's so crazy. So who's first? Look at the other baby first. Okay. Yeah, let's see what you weigh. Ooh. Oh, I thought you gained more than that. <laughs> She's like two, two and, and a half, half weeks old. Yeah. You, you girls like just a <laughs> Yeah. All right. So you decided you wanted to do the one year visit at the same time. <laughs> oh, the one year visit's a big deal. It's four shots today. Oh, gosh. So the baby yeah. shouldn't need any shots. Okay. 
but I had a feeling. I was like, did she get shots? I wasn't sure because you was yes, in daycare. It is going to be four shots. So she's going to get her MMR, her chicken pox, her last pneumonia, and her hepatitis A today. Oh no, her actually her second flu. She's not even had her second flu. She actually needs five shots. But Can we break it? Coming so often with the newborn, I'm just gonna do yeah. four and have you bring her back at another time. So we're gonna do her. Yeah, I get her second do five. flu. I know. Get her second flu in her. Get her in and her chicken pox. Her skin looked worse today in the bed. <laughs> yeah. Has she noticed the baby yet? I don't think she still understands. Right. She's still so little. Yeah. I think she thinks it's a toy right now. Right, so just get her her own baby. Yeah. Definitely. Her own baby doll. Are you nursing? No. No? no? What are you feeding her? A gentle ease. Uh huh. All right. And she kept throwing up the other one. Okay. All right, how long have you been home with her? It's the second day. This is the second day. All right, and tell me about the delivery. Natural. Mm -hmm. No epidural? It didn't. It didn't make it. <laughs> what happened? You just they literally they literally placed it by the time I came from triage to delivery room was forty five minutes. Delivery Good time to do it. And then she was coming. There she popped out. Yeah. Look at you. You and sissy. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Now the camera. Okay. She's cute. I'm jiggling her little thighs. I kind of rub them to kind of get them warmed up a little bit. I always tell my parents, hold their wrists. Lots of love, hugs and kisses. <clears throat> the louder we are, the better this is. Okay. MMR and varicella are sub Q, which means they go like this okay. on the side. My other two are IM. I can give them six inches apart, so I only have two band-aids. Okay. I'm really quick. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Varicella and Prevnar in one. Ready? Mm -hmm. Actually, that goes the other way. On three. One, two, three. This is Two, three. It's okay. It's okay. Two, three. Oh, no. Two, three. Oh, no. Let it out. Rub. Let it out. She's mad. There's nothing I can do about one shots. There's nothing I can do. And there's one. Pick her up, Daddy. Daddy, one, two, three. Go see Daddy. <laughs> She's so mad that I'm holding her down. You did it. Did you are done, girl. girl. You see. I'm all done. You all done. I try to distract him as much as possible. Don't make too much eye contact. Okay. I look at her again and she's going to belt crying. Promise you. Because they will remember. Yes, so okay. she was pretty fast. Just, yeah, I know. You didn't know she got four shots. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. I know. It's okay. You always been big girl when it comes to shots. Big girl. Yeah. You always been so awesome. You always been so awesome. Yes, you are. So smart and so amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see. it for a lot of I told you. <laughs> yeah, do all that. Yeah, you did so amazing with shots. Yes, you do. Big girl. And Noel's just unbothered and do not really care what just happened to our sister. Just gonna change the diaper and we out. <laughs>